happy when discovering smoothie locations. Ah, I love it so much. So, so cool. So we made a little stop here. We are already in France, um, about one and a half hours away from Paris. It's super warm outside. Finally, after this whole month of rain and 18 or 16 degrees in Germany, now we're in the French countryside somewhere on a highway and my dad bought an espresso um, they didn't have any. I wanted to say Leche de Socha, but I have to switch my mind to French now. I had a cappuccino earlier with oat milk, still in Germany. And I think the next coffee will be in Paris tomorrow. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to our little weekend trip, four days. Um, and yes, I just finished work. I was working the whole time here with my laptop um, in the car. So really the perks of um, yeah, being able to work remotely. And it's now almost, I think almost seven maybe. 6.45 I don't know 6.30 maybe and yeah in about one and a half hours we're finally there looking so forward and um, yeah now our Paris time can begin <laughs> We were staying a bit in the north, so we didn't have that typical beautiful Paris view that you have in the city center. But still it was great with the sunset and yeah, it was quite late. So we just went to the city center, to the Montparnasse area and we had some Asian food for dinner. First full day in Paris, bonjour, stepping out of the hotel and it's already 26 degrees, I think. I just had my morning meetings, worked a little bit, now off to the city, um, in a cafe. Um, I always want to speak Spanish here, but in a, cof yeah, in a coffee shop. And I will work there for the rest of the day. And then we're going to yeah, discover or explore Paris a little bit. It's super warm, super sunny. I'm excited for this day. How beautiful does Paris look? This is really one of my favorite areas. It really looks like from a movie or from a beautiful postcard. Uh, Wild and the Moon, this is a, a plant-based cafe from the inside. It really reminded me of places in Toronto and also LA. And yeah, this is the place where I was finishing my work day. I was sitting there in the beautiful shade and yeah, continuing my uh, project. And afterwards we went uh, to the city, actually we were already in the city, but yeah, we were walking around and then we had a cafe at Café Kitsune, super Instagrammable place, uh, maybe a bit overpriced, but I always love to go there, it gives me this certain vibe, uh, this Paris, Paris vibe that I love. And then we were walking a little bit here, taking some photos, and there's also a place from Emily in Paris, which you can see right now. So a couple of hours later and I'm finished with my work for today so the official weekend can now really start. Um, we were um, at a really cool breakfast, vegan breakfast place, I think it was called um, Wild and the Moon or something like that. Um, I ate a blue magic bowl, so 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 cool. And also um, yeah, I was feeling like Emily in Paris and right now we're here at um, a film on location from the series. It's the uh, Grand Villefour uh, restaurant in the background. And you can see it right there. So, so, so cool to finally be here after the series yeah, was released. And the first, like this is the first time after it was released that I'm not here. So yeah, of course, I am just also visiting some of the original film spots. Super, super cool. And yeah, it's still super warm outside, a bit cloudy. But um, yeah, we're here in the city and me and my dad. And yeah, now discovering all the other beautiful places in Paris. Oh my god, so this is the second Emily in Paris uh, filming location of the gallery here that you can see here is um, the office. Oh my god, so cool to be here. OMG. So if you believe it or not, it's raining outside. So we went back to the hotel to get a little snack and it's now about two hours later and it's still raining. Not what we expected here in Paris, but we're going to grab a rain uh, umbrella from the car 
and then heading towards dinner because it's already dinner time very soon and hopefully the rain will stop Garlic naan, this is Stara. So it's still raining outside and we ended up in one of our favorite cuisines which is Indian and yes, yeah, so we already ate the garlic naan Sitting now here, it's raining outside it doesn't feel like summer at all but it's really warm so yeah, late summer, early fall vibes here from Paris Of another location where they filmed Emily in Paris with the view on the Eiffel Tower. Okay, perfect spot here at this Vietnamese restaurant with a view to the sunset, and there's the Pont Neuf and somewhere the Eiffel Tower in the background. still very cloudy um, the weather radar says it doesn't rain it's just full of clouds and kind of foggy a little bit but yeah this night it was raining all night long so I really hope it stays dry and um, yeah let's see I only have like mostly white pants and skirts and dress with me so no jeans or no real pants and um, yeah it's not that good if it really if it's really raining but let's see rain doesn't stop us from anything Bonjour. it's 10 o'clock um, we forgot our umbrella in the room because it's still a little bit raining so I got the umbrella now we're off to Montmartre, going to look for a breakfast place there. Um, and yeah, hopefully the rain will stop, but I think so. And um, yeah. Stepping outside of the bus and it's blue sky. Love it. Breakfast in Montmartre, my Shia pudding with Belgian chocolate, um, mint, fruits and coconut yogurt. And my dad has this typical French breakfast with croissant, coffee and um, marmalade. And this is the view. After breakfast we were still lucky with the weather and we went to a new place where we hadn't been so far. It's called Parc de Butte Chaumont. Ah, c'est gâteau! This little dog is enjoying the view. So cute. A cappuccino here because I have a little bit of headache. Also with oat milk. I'm sitting here in this cute white corner. And yeah, it's sunny again. So finally the sun came out. <sighs> Feels so good to just relax a bit after this city, like this um, busy city vibes. And yeah, found this cute cafe noir. Huge recommendation.
finally found an organic store and I've got so many memories from Toronto here because we were also in so many similar stores. Love it so, so much. Sage from California. Oh my God, love it. We went back to the hotel for a few minutes or one hour maybe just to relax a bit and um, get dressed again, change our outfits and um, change our stuff that we take with us. Uh, we're going to the city center again. Um, it's almost dinner time, but it felt so good to just sit, sit in the hotel room for a little bit and relax. And that's really my recommendation for you if you're doing city trips. So recharging and yeah, definitely a good thing to do in the afternoon. Bonjour from Paris. So this is our last day here and we are almost um, ready to check out. I also did my yoga and sport routine this morning. It feels so fresh. The sun is almost shining, almost full blue sky. I have my caffeine pads here right now. So first caffeine on my face, then caffeine in my tummy because we're going to get a coffee really soon. And yeah, we're excited for the day as always. And um, yeah, I take you with me. Have fun. <music> I get wild and the moon and I have this matcha bowl and my dad has this six pack bowl I have again with pink granola um, this is a truffle cloud I think it's called and the green tea with mint sitting here in this beautiful beautiful little corner love it such a cool atmosphere they said that they were gonna bring the LA vibe in here and I think it's a success After breakfast, heading to our first coffee stop for today, which is the Kitsune at the Jardin de Truderie. I bought the perfect souvenir from Paris. I also bought it in uh, 2013 when I was here for the first time, or the second time actually, but my first real city trip. And I bought a baguette pen. And um, the owner said to me, um, Bon appetit! But actually, he said, he said it in German because he spoke German as well. But how cute is this baguette pen? Oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> And what a synchronicity it is again. I can't believe it because earlier I said I want to buy a baguette and then I thought is it really that healthy to eat baguette because I really want to focus more on my health and what I want to eat and then I found this baguette pen so the universe listened and it is yeah, gifted me or well, I bought a baguette, une baguette but not a real food but a pen I mean how cool universe always listen to so be precise uh, when deciding what you want so behind me you can see the Pantheon there's also a location where they filmed Emily in Paris and right now we are on our way to Emily's house and the restaurant of uh, Gabriel which is also here in this corner so excited to see this one of the main locations I would say next to the office so yeah so cool that they filmed everything here and it's so close to work to and Paris je t'aime so cool <laughs> So 
so we already took some photos and here's so many other fans of the show that are also taking pictures and here's the house in the background where also Emily had a little garden party right here Gabriel's restaurant in the back but it's closed because they're, because they're on holidays and this boulangerie as I said also closed but super cool to be here oh my god I'm so happy Au revoir, Emily. Always happy when discovering smoothie locations. Ah, I love it so much. So, so cool. La Tour Eiffel in the background. Always great to see. Love it. I bought a baguette from the bakery Paul and afterwards a pokeball. And before we made our way back to Germany, we stopped at the Shakespeare and Company bookstore. The line was really long, so we couldn't get inside. But the cafe next door um, yeah, was opened and the line wasn't long, so I got a matcha there. And yeah, this was basically our trip. And yeah, I loved it a lot. And we are back in the car. It's shortly before 6 p.m. Um, I had such a feeling that, would be, that we would be in the car around 6. I did thought four, but with all the coffee or matcha walk and the um, little, um, I wanted to remember, my head is full of French now, the little dinner um, or late lunch um, in the afternoon, it's, it was actually sure that we would be a little bit later. So um, yeah, now we are on our way back. I hope you like this vlog. If yes, if yes, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more travel vlogs and talks about spirituality. And I would say see you in the next video. Au revoir. French pear au chocolat. I can only recommend it. It's so 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 good.